Ten-month-old English Springer Spaniel Lola looks like she hasn't got a care in the world, but that all changed when she got bitten by an adder in Wareham Forest. Um, we were in Wareham Forest walking our dogs with my daughter Amy, and um, we were keeping to the path because we knew about the nesting birds and the adders that are waking up from the winter. And uh, they were all looking at something just a few feet away, and all of a sudden she leapt backwards. Um, we weren't sure if she'd been bitten. My daughter could hear the snake hissing. Um, I have a deaf dog who I was trying to sign him to go away. Um, so I just put her on the lead and walked her very slowly to see if anything happened. And we were, luckily we were close to the car and by the time we got to the gate her face had started to swell up. We'd phoned ahead so they knew she was coming in and they got the anti-venom ready um, and put her on a drip as well. I'm not quite sure what the drip does. Um, and just kept an eye on her and she swelled right back to her eyes and um, then it started to go down, the anti-venom started to work, so. She was quite subdued when I saw her, was, had quite a bit of pain around her face, um, and her muzzle was starting to swell, which is all quite classical after a snake bite. Um, so she needed emergency treatment straight away for that. Um, because the swelling was on her face, and the bite had been on her face, um, there was a real risk that if the swelling continued to get quite bad, that um, she wouldn't be able to pant properly, which obviously means they can't then thermoregulate. So dogs can then quickly overheat. So it's quite important to try and get that swelling down as quickly as possible. So in her case, we actually gave her um, antivenom, which is um, uh, quite, it's a little bit dangerous. Um, sometimes for dogs in rare occasions can have an anaphylactic shock actually to the antivenom that we give. So we have to give it extremely slowly um, and, be, and monitor the dog very carefully. Um, luckily, she responded extremely well to the antivenom. The swelling started to subside quite quickly. Um, and we also gave her painkillers and antibiotics as well. Lola was lucky because her owner did the right thing by rushing her straight to the vets and the curious pooch went on to make a full recovery.